Hey folks, it's Kikoskia here and welcome back to Let's Replay Icewind Dale the Enhanced Edition and we lost! We left off, do you remember this location? Do you remember the interior of the temple in Lower Dawn's Deep? Because that is where we are. It's been a while since we've been here, but it's finally time with both of the expansions done to finish the main game. From my bag of holding, I have managed to procure all of the badges we need. Krillags, Jorils, Marketh, Malavan, Maiden Ilmadia, and Brother Perdium. Ready. And we just need to click these and they will be automatically placed where they need to go. Aye. Don't need to try and figure out which one goes where, the symbols are clearly emblazoned on top of the mechanism. So. We'll just do this. And with the final one, a little bit of shadow is removed, and now this is a stairway up. I'm here. This is very much a point of no return kind of situation that's imminently ahead of us, so let us move forward and hope that we're ready. Hmm? Spoiler alert, we are completely I'm not ready. ready. Right then. But where were we ever ready? Animals are not what we thought we'd hear, but the person in front of us is exactly who we thought it would Hi. be. Greetings, child of Ilmata. How are you today? Drop the act, Pocklin. I'm sick of all these charades. I've been hacking through enemies for days, weeks, just to get out of these damned mountains. I'm not about to let a crazed man in a bloody Ilmatary high priest robe stand in my way. Oh, I'm sorry. But war and charades are the only two games I know how to play. If they are not to your liking, I'm afraid you'll be ill-equipped to play the game that's about to begin. Cut to the point, Pocklin. After centuries of exonomized, laboriously worded speeches and delusions of grandeur, it is a welcome change to hear such succinct threats from an enemy. Remember that name? We bought them a long time ago in this playthrough. Thank you for disposing of her, by the way. Her speeches were quite tiresome, and she suffered her defeat so poorly. What are you up to, Pocklin? Why the spine of the world? The only thing really standing in the way of my conquering this territory was Exonomai. When you killed her, you removed the largest obstacle in my campaign. Apart from us. As you probably already know, my arrival in this world was a result of conflict with my ancient adversary. I was exiled from my home plane when my vendetta with Exonomai got, as my superior said, out of control. Ah, those are powerful superiors indeed. As soon as I arrived in this world, I knew that Exonomai would follow. After all, What's a few thousand years and a billion miles between old friends? I don't think they'd have referred to you as an old friend. I sought out a base of operations from which I could start a military force. In the process of doing so, I heard something calling to me from a distant glacier. It was this. Gren Shiniban. It's an artifact so old that it makes me seem young. A crystal shard with magical powers of such magnitude that Kaldahar's heartstone gem looks like a child's toy. Yay! That's not good. Just having it in my possession caused the monstrous creatures of this land to leave their ancient homes and seek me out. Its other powers are too numerous to mention. And then you're going to stab us with it. I hope not. Despite the fact that the Shard has a somewhat overbearing personality, our plans seem to coincide. So who's in control? Is it the weapon? Or Pocklin? As for my lieutenants, they were easy enough to find. All of them were eager to join my cause. Except for poor naive Brother Padilla. 
The guise of an Ilmatarian revered brother was perfect for traveling and gathering information in Icewind Dale. The form was easy enough to assume. He's going to be going for quite a while, by the way, folks. The information inside of Padium's head allowed me to flesh out the role. Everything was going well, until that annoying Arendelle and your good friend, the late Rothgar, decided to investigate Exonomai's poorly veiled activities in Dragon's Eye. And thus, we circle back right to the prologue and the beginning of our adventure. If that idiot had been a little more clandestine in her business, no one would have suspected. To stall Exonomai and seal off Icewind Dale, I used Granshinabon to freeze the passes, but not quickly enough to prevent Rothgar's band from starting their expedition. Whereupon you hired the giants to kill us? I had Craig Frostbeard and his giants cause the avalanche that crushed Rothgar, Akalia, and those other fools. Yep, but we survived. After that... I didn't really care what you were doing until you seized the Heartstone gem from Exonomai. And then we became a problem. I thought that Arendelle would be the only person capable of using it. When I killed him, I thought the threat was ended. You didn't think about the severed hand. I certainly didn't expect you to take the gem to Laryl in the severed hand. Very clever. Unfortunately, your actions since that event have been... inconsequential. We'll see about that. During your extended bloody trek through Upper Dawns, Worm's Tooth and Lower Dawns, I was building up forces elsewhere. Outside of East Haven, to be specific. Well, that's a problem. So you see... The destruction of my forces here simply prevents me from having reserve troops during my conquest of the Dale. Unless we go to East Haven and destroy your army. It's a good thing you can't see East Haven now. It would probably break you to see how easy it is to crush houses and cause temples to explode. Everything you've done is pointless. Now, this could be one of two things. This could either be uh, Pocklin genuinely believing that everything we've done is pointless, which is very likely, or he doesn't think that everything we've done is pointless, and he just wants to demoralize us. I am the beginning and the end of this story. I, and only I, will determine how it plays out. Goodbye. Yay. And we have revered Brother Pocklin right there being a problem. Right, time to do that. Time to haste up the party. And time to hope that we can do something significant. Because uh, this is going to be a challenge. Also, let's just try and power it. Silence yes. you. And... Okay, we have... Uh, barely injured. We have some. Oh no, bronze sentries! I don't like bronze sentries. They're a pain. And a ton of fire. Oh, also he's gone. So we have an earth elemental. We have bone guard skeletons. We have a lot of trouble. Right, let's start focusing down the most dangerous threats here, which are the sentries. All right. Okay, you should probably start hitting these, and honestly, we should turn undead too. Oh, here he comes. He's back. Quick, quick, quick. Do that. Are you just gonna attack? Oh, we have a nice mixture of everything here. A nice mixture of everything showing up. We have Earth Elementals, we have Skeletons, we have a long cutscene that we'll have to go through all over again if we fail, so let's not fail. What is it? Please, let's not fail. Ooh, is that one already dead? That one is already dead! What? Okay, so you've been hit, but that's fine. We have tons of potions. Okay, 
So that's dead. You're going to... I think we're going to flame arrow you. And I feel like another one of these might be useful. I mean, all that we're doing here is probably completely inconsequential. Also, we're doing pretty well here. Oh, he's just gonna leave now, I think. In the heat of the battle, the twisted priest of Ilmater stumbled, gripping his chest as if mortally stricken. A faint glow began to emanate from the crystal that hung round his neck. Suddenly, the entire cave was engulfed in an explosion of blinding light. When the light finally died, the party discovered that they were no longer within the dark passages of Dorne's Deep. As they struggled to regain their bearings, they realized that they had been returned to the town of East Haven. But this was not the sleepy fishing village they had left so long ago. Enchantment had fallen over the town, encasing what remained of the shattered homes and buildings in a prison of solid ice. At the center of the destruction, upon the very spot where the Temple of Tempus once stood, rose a massive tower of crystal. That's not ominous at all! That's very ominous. Let's save. Uh, we're at East Haven. And we need to... 15, 16... We're gonna make this like... El I don't know. That. That'll be fine. So, here we are. East Haven. Crystals. Coldest winter achievement. Also, we should... We cannot rest here. Okay, we need to be careful. We can't rest. Hi, it's a Cyclops. We should be okay with the Cyclops, though. They're not that tricky. Yep, not that tricky at all. 4,000 XP. Nice. Let's keep going. Can we find anyone friendly at all? Anyone? Nope, can't go there. Another Cyclops. I, I mean, I suppose we can kill you. Ready. Like so. Yeah, At least the I haste is working to our benefit while it's active. Mm. 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 Dead. I In fact, hear. dead and giblets. We cannot open any of that. That's not available. This is the area down here that we can go check out, I suppose. Oh! Jonan's still here! You! Thank the gods you returned! I don't know what's happened, but the giants came out of nowhere, and the ice, it just rose from the earth. The villagers, the giants herded them up, and, and... Calm down, Jonan. Where are the villagers taken? They took them to a camp. They tore timbers out of the buildings and used them as a stockade in the southeast corner of town on, on the island. I don't know if they're okay. I'll see what I can do. I think I may have to deal with that tower first. You have to free the villagers! Everard's among them, and he may know of a way to the tower. I saw the giants drag him into the tower, then return him to the camp. I don't even know if he was breathing. I'll seek him out then. You should seek safety now. There's nothing more you can do here. There is one thing I can do. The blade you brought me long ago, it's healed. I simply fell asleep with it on the table beside me one night. And in the dream, it melted together again. When I awoke, it was restored. I want you to use it. Use it to defend East Haven from these monsters. I will, Jonan. Thank you. Please be careful. That tower, there's something evil within it. I can feel the hate from here. It's like waves screaming off the tower. That's a lot of XP. I'll wash myself. Take care, Jonan. Level up! And the Reborn Blade achievement. Also, not surprisingly, it's a level up for our swashbuckler and a level up for our bard. Get a ton of stuff. A Thacko reduction. Very nice. Additional skill points. I mean, I might as well use them. 
Um, put some in open locks, put some in move silently, put some in hide in shadows and set traps. Sure. You now have a Thacko of minus one and zero. As for you, we have a level six and a level seven spell, which is very nice because I have not taught you a level seven spell yet. Well, I'm gonna have to teach you a level seven spell. I'm here. At least I can save. But first, mm -hmm. did I keep the? Uh... Oh, that's been put on the ground. The game is so insistent on you uh, getting this item that it forces it into the ground. Onto the ground. Okay, let's have a look at this weapon. Also. A more sinister version of the East Haven theme here. The one shattered blade lay in the breast of Icacerat, the last of the white dragon matriarchs that ruled the spine of the world, which we've killed now. It was wielded by Ahanon, a distant ancestor of Jonan, the fisherman in East Haven. The sword has lain at the bottom of the lake for almost a century, waiting to be returned to one of its wielder's bloodline. How it has been restored to its original state is unknown, but whatever the reason, it looks like a powerful weapon that can help you free East Haven from Brother Pokolin. The blade seems to draw its strength from Lac Dinishir itself. As long as the wielder is within the dragon's flight distance of a lake, the blade is a fearsome weapon. So, max hit points, plus 5 within the dragon's flight distance. Cold resistance plus 25%, fire resistance plus 25%, plus 1, plus 5 within the flight, uh, within a flight di distance, and plus 1, plus 5. It is a long sword. Which is a bit of a problem, because nobody's really good with long swords. Um... I mean, you're good with long swords. Of all the swords that we have, I mean, you can use it, I suppose. I mean, that's only plus four to plus five, so. Mm. I mean, that's also a plus four. So really, it's it's not the best sword in the world, but what it is is Ready. a guaranteed way I'm for here. you to be I... able to deal damage to the final boss. If you don't have a weapon that can hurt the final boss, this is a way to do it. Also, we still can't rest. You have need of this is unfortunate, but we have, you know, a couple of potions that we can use. Drink a potion. Let's look around. I'm not going to like it when we, uh, yeah, when we're fatigued. But we should be able to fight our way over to that stockade. There are only giants here. I wonder how worried Pocklin is now that we've been inadvertently dragged over to East Haven. Maybe Pocklin did it on purpose so that we could seal the devastation, lose all hope, and then give up. Or just fall to his might. I don't know. What I do know is we need to explore. Quickly. And surprising no one, ice everywhere. I need to rest once in a while. Don't worry, we'll rest. When we find a place we can rest. I grow weary. We should make camp. We cannot make camp right now, I'm afraid. Oh, look! There's a squirrel! Don't I'm you here. dare hit that squirrel, I'm Mr. Here. Cyclops. That's right. We rest. We'll save that squirrel. And absolutely destroy you. Tavern is just gone. Uh, your place is gone, everywhere is gone, squirrel is fine. What about... Come out, stupid human! Me no squish you if you come out! I... Oh! Yes. The tavern's okay? I mean, sir, mm. y you might want to turn around. Yeah, that's right, I am, I am shooting you. So the tavern is still good. Ready. That is reassuring, because I need rest. I absolutely need rest. Let's go in. I'm here. Hmm? Hello. Who's in here? Oh, uh, not many people are in here. Is there anyone in here? They're probably down in the basement. It's old Jed! Arrgh! Oh, he's drunk, isn't he? Here, <laughs> mate! We be done for all the giant's children. 
All the giant's children have been held by the old woman in the stockade south of town, past the bridge. Ever had to be captured down there, too? Join Jed and a drink, and we can pass the time. What happened? Where was Everett captured? Oh, you be asking me, Father, who is the... <gasps> giants! The giants in town! They be only having one orb of sight to be seen with I in the... I call you every... Everett for a tank of chapter. Oh, farewell, Jed. Asleep. We can rest here. And I'm back away. And so, when we come back, folks, we don't really have much to do here. Jed will just drink himself into a stupor, but what we do need to do outside is rescue all the townsfolk, and then get into the temple. Once we're in the temple, we can then deal with Pocalin. Hopefully. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.